There's a great passage in the scripture that encourages us to do something. And if we do this, then we'll find ourselves uh, that will be well taken care of. And I want to be able to share this word with you so that way we can uh, both enjoy what the word actually says here in 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 20, verse 20. It says, And they rose early in the morning, and they went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear, hear this, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of the land, believe in the Lord your God, so you shall be established. Believe his prophets, so you shall prosper. Now, he makes two statements here. If you believe in God, you'll be established. If you believe his prof prophets, you shall prosper. This one little point that he's making a statement on. See here, this is what was taking place. Jehoshaphat was, a, was not a strong army. He had a weak army. And he was about to battle two different inhabitants, two different armies. And he needed to take them out in order for them to progress. And God said, I've placed them in your hands. I've given you power over them. But you have to do something. And what he asked them to do was so unusual that there isn't a single reason why it would work. I'll be frank with you. He tells them, he says, what you want to do is you want to bring the worshipers together with the instruments and let them play first. Now, who in the world is going to go to a war and they're going to put the band in front? Typically in a war, the band would be in the back, not in the front. Why? Because after the battle was waged or the battle was won, then the band would play in celebration, celebratory of the victory. But he said, I want you to put the, the praise and worship. I want you to put the band. I want the, the flute, the harps, the string instruments, put them in the front. Start singing praises to me. And then he makes this statement. He says, if you believe in me and you follow after my ways, you're going to be established and you're going to prosper, which means you're going to be successful in the thing that you're going through. Now, you might be going through something right now, and you might be wrestling with either an economic turmoil, a financial dis uh, a discouragement, or you're looking for a job. Well, I have news for you. If you believe in the Lord, you'll be established. And if you believe as prophets, the word here, prophets, means preachers. If you believe those who declare the word of God to you, you shall prosper. So he makes a statement to them, and I believe the reason why he makes a statement to them is because he's about to ask them to do something that is just insurmountably unreal, just completely unreal. How in the world are we going to be able to win this battle with praise and worship, music players in the front? We need to put in the front our strong men, those that battle well, the guys that, are, that have the hard weapons. That's what we need to put in the front. But he said, no, 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 we're going to do something totally different. You're going to put in the front the worshipers, and you're going to worship me. And if you listen to me, you're going to, be, you're going to win, and you're going to prosper. And that's what a lot of people have a hard time believing, that God desires for them to prosper. But hang in there. I want you to see something. There's such a most obvious wealth that he transferred over to the Israelites, and I want you to see this right now. So he tells him, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. And here's what happens. They go into battle. When they go into the battle, the two different armies that came down to meet Judah, the, the, the warring army, meet Jehoshaphat with his tribe. When they went into the valley, they saw each other and they fought each other. They heard the music playing and they started fighting each other instead of fighting Jehoshaphat. These two armies coming against Jehoshaphat, hear the music playing, and they fight each other. Now, you may say, that doesn't make any sense. Well, pay attention. If the music is the sign that the victory was won, when those two came down, they must have thought, certainly Judah has already won the battle. And these two armies started fighting each other till they killed each other. Judah hasn't even made it to the field yet. There was a valley there. They, they hadn't even gone on top of the hill. They were on their way to the battle playing worship. And when they got there, it says, when they got there, watch this. Judah came towards the watch in verse 24. And when Judah came towards the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked into the multitudes and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth and none escaped. All of them died. They killed each other. They killed each other before Jehoshaphat got there. Remember, listen to the Lord and you shall be established. That's what happened. God said, listen to me. 
if you pay attention to what I have to say, you're going to be established. But then the second part, listen to his prophets, to his preachers, and you shall prosper. Watch what happened. Verse 25. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, the spoil, which means their possessions, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels. And they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. And there were three days in gathering of the spoils. It was so much. Wow. <laughs> How does this relate to us today? If we need to obey God, if we obey God and His Word and we recognize His Word, no matter how crazy it sounds, if we obey God and we listen to His preachers, His prophets, a person like myself, if you, if you listen to the Lord, read His Word, and you follow after the instructions of your pastor, see, that's important, you shall prosper. You'll be established with the word of God, but you'll prosper with the preachers of the gospel speaking the word over your life. It goes on and says, And on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the valley of Bashash, which they called it the valley of Judah, place of worship. For there they blessed the Lord. Therefore the name of the place was called the valley of Bashash until this day. The valley of Bashash, which is the valley of Judah the valley that Judah was established. The warring armies killed themselves, the enemies and the attacks that we have, the pressures and concerns that we go through in life will be destroyed and God will establish us. My friends, we have to obey what God says inside his word and, and inside his word, he tells us to do certain things and if we don't do these things inside his word, then we'll find ourselves lacking. And he makes this statement in Deuteronomy 8, 18. It says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he sworn to thy fathers as it is this day. He wants you to get wealth. That way he can establish his covenant. God's trying to establish his covenant. The covenant that God has is that the children of Israel, his children, will be blessed, that you and I will be blessed. And, that that, and we will be many. Many people will get saved. Many people will come to the salvation knowledge of Jesus Christ. Many. And we shall be blessed. And that we shall be saved. And God is trying to establish the covenant here. But here's the thing. God is restricted to only working with you. He makes things happen with you. He gave us charge over this planet. He created Adam. He said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. He gave us the authority of the planet. Adam and Eve gave the authority of the planet to the enemy through the, hit, through the eating of the forbidden fruit. But Jesus came to give us salvation that even though we're still in control of this planet, the enemy comes to battle us. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to hurt us. Sickness and disease, he brings poverty. But God desires for us to have po prosperity. But how? He provides it to us. He blesses us. There was a, a gentleman in our church that owns a business, and a person broke into the business, and he saw on his video camera, motion detected video camera, an alarm turned on, and, and so he went on the speakerphone, and he says, you need to get out. He says, I've called the cops, and you can, see the, you can see the recording. And he has all of his products on the desk there. He has a safe. Couldn't get in the safe, but he had these products on the desk. The guy thought he was going to take some of his products, but he didn't even see his products. While this thief broke in, suddenly you begin to see these orbs begin to float around on the camera. Those orbs floating around on the camera, obvious angels of the Lord that were blinding this man from seeing, this thief from seeing these obvious products that were on the desk and the man didn't touch anything he went away empty-handed he took a couple of things that were for spare parts but nothing of any value the cops eventually found him and he got arrested my friend's business was protected by the angels of god if this man did not listen to obey god obey his prophets he wouldn't prosper he has the blessings of god on top of him and god continues to bless his business and his life